We're back with Betsy Mayotte with the Institute of Student Loan Advisors and we're talking everything student loan. This question is, if I haven't paid anything yet and I graduated in 21, when should I start paying? Probably now. Uh, my guess is that you're, uh, you know, you had a pause in payments uh, longer than normal after graduation thanks to COVID, but those payments resumed in October. So you should go to studentaid.gov, find out who your loan servicer is, and look to see which payment plan you need to get on and, and start making payments. If you've already signed up for the save plan the first time, do you have to reapply? You don't have to reapply per se, but all the income driven plans, including the save plan, do require you to recertify your income on an annual basis. Right now, they've postponed the recertification requirements, so no one's gonna be due to do that before November. But as a general rule, you do have to recertify your income on an annual basis. So it's always good to go to studentaid.gov and just update everything that is in your, in your information. Either that or through your loan servicer. Okay, this person's asking, can you have zero IDR payment for many years? Your income is low enough or you have a Brady Bunch worth of children. <laughs> yes, it's very, I know borrowers that have had $0 payments under the income driven plans for decades. So if your income is low enough, yes, that's possible. Mm -hmm. um, what if another company has my loan now if it went from the Department of Education to like Nelnet? I'm sorry, I didn't quite hear you, Tanya. What if another company has my loan now? It went from, it says the Department of Education to Nelnet. Well, the Department of Education doesn't service any of their own loans. They use vendors or servicers such as Nelnet to service their loans. So my guess is that your loan is just with, you know, is still a federal loan and either with Nelnet or a different servicer now. Um, I'm not sure what your actual question is as far as the what if, I'm not sure what if what. Um, if you're asking whether it would qualify for loan forgiveness, any Department of Education held loan looks like it would be eligible for this proposal that was announced uh, last week. Okay, this person's asking, how do I know if I've fallen for a student loan scam? Oh boy. Well, for one thing, um, you never have to pay for anything with your student loans other than your payments. So you don't have to pay to a consolidate. You don't have to pay to get on an income driven plan. So if they charged you a fee other than a reg your regular monthly payment, uh, it might not be a scam per se, it could, uh, but it's certainly not a fee that you need to pay. If they, claim, if they promise you forgiveness right out of the gate, it's probably a scam. If they, uh, if they uh, infer that they're associated or partnered with the Department of Education um, or a loan servicer, it could be a scam. It's, it's interesting that, that this question came out because just a couple hours ago, the Federal Trade Commission issued a press release where they finally nailed one of sort of the head student loan scammers uh, out there and, and got a settlement agreement and they're not allowed to be in that space anymore and so on. And that was great work on behalf of the FTC. Okay, so never, ever, ever have to pay any kind of fee to make your student loan get redone or anything like that. Apply for forgiveness, any of that. There's mm -hmm. never, ever a fee. All right, this person says, I have a student loan back in 1990. I received later on that I had a zero balance, but now they're asking me to pay it back. That one's a little more too complicated for this segment. Um, I would need a lot more information um, to, it could, oftentimes when borrowers say that to me, <clears throat> they actually had multiple loans and they weren't aware they had multiple loans. So the first step is to go to studentaid.gov and see if you might be able to tease out if this is the same loan or not. Gotcha, okay. Are Parent PLUS loans eligible for the proposed forgiveness? Yes. Okay, um, can I get approved for student loans again if I already owe student loans? Like maybe they're going yes, back to school again? Yeah, um, assuming you haven't reached your, um, your limit for the uh, degree that you're going for, for example, there's an aggregate loan limit for um, undergraduate level and also that you're not in default, then you can still get additional federal student loans. All right, somebody's asking, what happens if you don't repay your student loans? Oh boy. Well, um, federal student loans have no statute of limitations. So that debt's gonna follow you for the rest of your life until you've resolved it. And it's going to cost you more money if you refuse to pay versus getting on you know, an income driven or another type of affordable plan. They add up to 24% in collection costs. 
They can and will garnish your wages, 15 up to 15% of your gross income. They'll take your tax refunds. They'll take your social security. Whereas if you get on an income driven plan, not only will hopefully the payment be affordable, but you know that if there's still a balance after 20 or 25 years, it'll be forgiven. So it's gonna cost you a lot less money to get on a repayment plan than it will be to just refuse to pay. Okay, we've got about one minute. Why do loans switch companies so often? Well, the contracts change. Um, or maybe a particular service or focuses on a particular program like disability discharge or PSLF. Um, and also the volume changes among servicers depending on how good they do. The better they do, the more volume they get. Gotcha. Okay. All right. And superior servicing, someone's asking if it's a scam. Again, if they're asking you to pay any money to do anything, it you don't want to do it. You don't have to do that. All right, Betsy Mayotte, thank you so much for your time. I know you had one more key tidbit that you wanted to say today. Happy birthday to my mother, who I believe <laughs> is watching right now. I hope you had a really good day. <laughs> that is fantastic. We always want to give a shout out to mom. Thanks, Betsy. We appreciate it. Of course, we'll have her on again as it gets closer to figuring out what's going on with all this student loan business. You can rewatch this segment in the Two Wants to Know section of our website. We'll be right back.